This is the new Jack Jawbreaker in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and it turns a shotgun into a battle rifle. So let's unlock it, pack a punch, and test in the tier 3 zone against Mega Abominations and the final boss, the Red Worm. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. You guys know the drill. First, we got to unlock the aftermarket part, which involves using a lot of shotgun. Uh. Also involves not getting hit. That's a mimic. Mimic. No, no, no. Mimic? No? Craig, can you do your mimic mating call? See if you can draw it out. Hi there. Bye bye. Out of your misery. Oh, not Omega. You know, I don't really need to kill Omega for this, but he's being crazy. You know, there's two. Th these are natural. These aren't even HVTs. What are we doing? And done. We out. Here it is, the first dedicated aftermarket part for a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, the Jack Jawbreaker for the broadside. The benefits of this are, is it makes it full auto, which the broadside was already full auto once you pack a punch it, but now you can be full auto before you pack a punch it. Massively increased bullet velocity and range, massively increased damage, uh, more gun kick control for the negatives, a uh, way worse hit fire and tack stance spread, worse aim walking speed, worse movement speed, and worse sprint to fire speed. So this essentially turns the KV broadside and makes it into a battle rifle. So let's go ahead, big horde of zombies. Okay, took out all the zombies. Other things it does that it doesn't say, it blocks your ability to use a barrel on it. It blocks your ability to put ammo types. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to run slug rounds because it's a battle rifle now. It makes it so you can't change the magazine size. The only magazine size for this is 20. Obviously, we can increase that when we pack a punch it, uh, but that is a little bit scary and you can no longer change the bolt on it. So ADS with it. Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of kick. We've got a build here that's meant to get rid of all the recoil, but um, even with that, uh, this gun is shaking. Well, look at the hip fire. Brah. Yeah, this thing is, it, it looks like it's gonna fly out of our hands. There is so much recoil on this. I think if this gun's gonna be good, I think there's a chance for it to be good, but it is going to involve mags of holding. Cause look at this reload speed. A 20 round mag with that slow of a reload speed is um it's not a good recipe luckily mags of holding exist now and it might be able to fix that for us so we're definitely gonna have to try this bad boy with mags oh my i'm already reloading it's in tier one like it's killing tier one zombies fast but um i am constantly reloading this sucker Volato. and reload kill some more zombies and reload craig you want to swap thank you it is a one-shot headshot though right <gasps> Wait, is this actually not a one-shot headshot in tier one? Wow. Ooh, maybe it has a massive blow up, but you know, there's SMGs that do more damage to a headshot on a zombie in tier one. If you look at the stats of the aftermarket part, it looks like it increases the damage massively. Like look at, look at all those green arrows, which obviously when you convert something from a shotgun to a battle rifle, green arrows can be misleading, but that that's a lot of green arrows and green means good. Uh, yeah, Craig, uh, we're gonna pick up this bounty, but this, I've got a really bad feeling about this, Craig. I'm gonna be honest. Mangler will be fine. Manglers are easy. Craig, keep that energy when we were there and shooting it with this. All right, Mangler. Oh, you're right, Craig. It is demolishing it. This is not gonna be an issue at all. I mean, we're just gonna have to reload 9,000 times. The thing is, we'll be able to swim in the pile of magazines on the ground by the time we're done taking this out. Yeah, uh, we, okay, Craig, we gotta make an entertaining video. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta hype this up, all right? So, Craig, I need you to pretend for like five seconds that this is just absolutely amazing, all right? We gotta, we gotta sell it, all right? Hold on, hold on. Oh, it wrecked, oh my God. Th this is the new meta. This is it. I didn't even have to reload. Do you see that, Craig? You see how I just took out that mangler? I'm just, I'm just saying, Treyarch, if you're watching this, if you're watching this and you're looking for something to nerf, please let it be this and not something else. Cause this, this is what needs the nerf. Hit, hit this bad boy right here. You know what? Even if I had two of these right now, I still think it would be garbage. If I had a Kimbo <laughs> of these, it would, there's very few weapons. You could just slap two of them on and they're still suck. Like I said, dude, Matt, I, I'm, I am, I am, I am putting so much weight so much weight on mags of holding making this amazing this is what i'm talking about this aftermarket part probably is really fun to use in multiplayer probably really fun for that i want a zombies i want an aftermarket part that's made with zombies in mind like every single aftermarket part has multiplayer and warzone as a forethought and then zombies as a second thought if it's good on zombies who cares but there are so many cool and like weird and quirky things you could do to a weapon to make it good in zombies and make a zombie that mark apart, but it just wouldn't make sense for MP and Warzone players to use something like that. Like a gun that makes like um, some sort of gun that makes it way louder and attracts more zombies because the gun's massively louder. I, I hate to be dogging on it, but I feel like weapons like this that are, you know, limit the magazine and are clearly just not going to be great in zombies. They should get something when you pack a punch them. Okay, let's see. When we pack a punch, does it get double or triple? 
it only gets doubled. So now, now we got 40 bullets. Oh, wait. It shoots a lot faster when you pack a punch it. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon on this. Yeah, it, it gets massively faster and we still don't have... Look at this. So it's basically just keeping the same amount of gear reloads. Hold on, I'm going to get it down to 20. So now we have the same amount of bullets at a... Uh, 25. It's, it's faster. All right, big horde of zombies. Let's see if now that we're packed, we got the faster fire rate and we got dead shot if we can make a little bit more. A little bit more out of it. You know, it kind of sucks that you gotta get it pack one to make it decent in the tier one zone. Mo most weapons ain't be like that. Oh, <laughs> you run out of ammo so quickly. Um, maybe if we pack it again. Wow. It's a one hit wonder. But I mean, so far the aftermarket part's kind of fitting because the KV, the KV broadside in zombies was already garbage. I mean, it kept the same energy. Tier one boss, I think we could kick his ass now. Yeah, I'm sure we could. I would hope so with pack one in blue. <laughs> How many times do we have to pack this weapon to kill a tier one boss efficiently? <laughs> yeah, without reloading. Yeah, it might, might, might be nice having a scorcher crack. Some of us gotta walk. Wait, wait, please tell me this is one shotting tier ones. Okay, I was about to say, what about body shots? It's... <laughs> Oh no. All right, round two, Mangler. This time we got packed, and I jumped over. This time we got packed weapons. Holy. I mean, it's killing him, but keep in mind, this is a pack one blue tier weapon and we got two people. I'm still holding out hope. Well, I'd like to pack a punch again, which needs we need, need money. Doe could be he's up there. <laughs> You know, since this is like an MP focused weapon, I've heard it's pretty sick in MP. Let's try it against bots here. Maybe it's a Dokovi killer. Oh yeah, it's 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 melting the bots. It's only taking like a crap ton of shots. But see, that, that's why it's good. It's warning them. It's scaring them away because you're you're. It's almost like torture. You're physically. Oh, what the? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna go up there and fight Dokovi because I already know how it's gonna end. So normally with a pack one weapon, you're able to go into the tier two zone. Oh, we unlocked a charm. Oh no. Yeah, so a lot of times you can take pack one weapons into the tier two zone and fry zombies. This weapon is, um, yeah, I mean, I killed the zombie, but we're going to need tier two pack like pronto. I mean, at least the magazine's big enough to kill a zombie. Just barely. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. So let me get a reload. Let's see how many of them I can kill. Ooh! I don't know why they call this the jack jaw breaker. It's not breaking any jaws. It's the jack jaw tickler. All right, but pack a punch numero uno. That's because you're not packed too. Watch mine. I got this thing packed too now. You will be surprised. There's no zombies left. Honestly, the zombies feel bad for me using this and they're running away. I'm going to laugh. We take this to the worm and it's the best worm weapon in the game. These are all armored zombies right here. Unarmored zombie in the... Ooh, what is this? That's a normal zombie. This is a pack two. <laughs> oh my. You can kill like... You can kill like four or five zombies before having to reload with this. Bro. This is literally hands down the worst weapon in zombies. Gas is coming in. I still don't have my 300 pack kills. I have my 300 zombie tickles though. <gasps> it's to kill. Oh my God, I can kill with it. Oh, whew. look at this thing go. Yeah, we've only got three minutes left. I came in here with a goal of unlocking a uh, Zircon scale or whatever the Modern Warfare 2 equivalent is. Uh, but I need what? 300 pack a bunch kills. And I haven't, I haven't even got that yet. Well, I, once it's packed too, it's pretty good in the tier one zone, except for the fact that you have to reload a lot. So it's actually not even that good in the tier one zone. Oh. There we go, 300 kills with Golden Ivory. And that also means, hold on. That also means, <coughs> boom, make, oh wait, that's a, no, okay, well. Wait, wait, there was a level up, is that it? That's it, Spinal Husk unlocked, in the heli, in the heli. Oh my God, right on time. Whew. My new favorite weapon. Okay, this is gonna end up really, really bad, but let's go ahead and max this out and just use it in the tier three zone. I'm tired of slowly inching up the progression scale. We are now in tier three and we have, oh, we do not have it maxed out. I did not use that, uh, that, 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 now. It is maxed out. So let's see, zombies. Oh my, it was struggling to kill a dog. It was struggling to kill it. Look at the mimic. Poor to zombies. Oh my God, it's. It's beautiful. I've always wanted a weapon that makes it feel like I'm playing on realistic difficulty. Uh-oh. I there was water at the bottom of that, or I wouldn't have jumped down. Turns out, no, there wasn't water at the bottom of that, so we're permadead. Okay, hop up here. Uh, all right, take two. This definitely can't go wrong again. Here is the aftermarket part in tier three. All right, let's see if it magically just gained a bunch of damage out of nowhere. So uh, let's, fi let's find an unarmored zombie. Let's see how many shots it takes to kill. So a normal weapon like an SMG would normally take, what, two bullets to the head, maybe three to kill an unarmored zombie? Oh my... Bruh, what is this gun? I don't even think, I don't even want to know what it's going to do that mega abomination. Like it's killing zombies. I'm not trying to, like, I don't want to be like, oh, this thing's uneasy. Like it's usable. Like the thing about zombies is 
all weapons, even the bad ones, like you can still use it. Like I'm killing zombies here, but it's just so bad compared to everything else. Like this is definitely one of the worst five weapons in the game. <laughs> Maybe it's good against the worm. Cope, cope, cope. Like, look at this. Like, what does this bring to the table? Like, all right, let's try the mega abomination. So base damage. It's actually better than what I thought it was going to be, but it's not recommended. Please open your eye. Please. Oh, here we go. Break, 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 break. Am I going to go down before the eye breaks? Oh, I'm going to go down way before the eye breaks. Oh, well, 40 bullets won't break an eye. I have reloaded three times and he is like 15% health down. I cannot break it. Two magazines hasn't broken an eye yet. This is just funny. I'm, I'm kind of glad that this weapon's this bad because it, it's just, it's kind of nice. Like normally we cover weapons that are very strong. You know, it's, it's nice just to use a really bad weapon for once. Oh, we broke an eye. Oh, four mags in. Four and a half mags in, eye broken. Two more to go, and we're gonna have to break the eyes to take this down, because the, the damage we've done to it base-wise is not great. It does have a lot of ammo, though, mainly because you're only using 40 at a time. I will take down this Mega Abomination. It is going down. Oh my, oh my. No big deal, just a horde of zombies. Let me put a few magazines into them. This has to be bugged. Like, this is just funny. It's it's comically bad. Like, this is, I think, the worst weapon we've tested in forever. Dude, I'm gonna run out of ammo. One more eye left. I should probably just punch him. Dude, where, where are the zombies at? I need, like, <laughs> 900 more rounds to finish off this Mega Abomination, please. <laughs> Not a single one of them dropped ammo. Are you kidding me? There we go. You only get 120 when they drop ammo, the zombies. That's not even enough to kill a zombie. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, he's going down. Dude, he has been at one health for so long. He's gone. He's gone. If I took a shot for every time I reloaded, I would not be here anymore. So there is one hope to fix this weapon, and it is this right here, the mags of holding. But be honest with you, I don't think it's going to help it because, yes, the biggest issue with this weapon is reloading. But after we fix the reloading issue, the biggest issue now is damage, which is I don't I don't want to, you know, downplay it before we test it. So horde of zombies. Whew. Yeah, that is um, that is. I mean, it's shooting bullets. It is a gun. It definitely is. Like, there are definitely bullets leaving the chamber of this weapon. I can say that. Like, and it's really good at that. There are a lot of bullets that leave the chamber of this weapon. The reloading feature works. Like, this weapon's really good at reloading. I'm trying to think of 10 nice things to say about it. It, um, if you put a golden wrench, a tier three pack a punch and mags of holding, it slays in tier one very, very good. Um, uh, it allows you to make more friends with the zombies because you get to spend more time with them. It takes longer to kill them. So you get more one-on-one -on -one time with each individual zombie and boss. Hi, disciple. I'm going to try to take you down. Oh, it's, it's going to take it down. I'm so glad we have mags of holding for this. Oh, maybe mags of holding makes it better at taking down. No, look, look at this mega abomination, bro. Look at this dude. At least with mags of holding, I can break his eye with one magazine. <laughs> I, I can break his eye with one magazine, but not before he stops spitting. <laughs> why, why am I taking down another mega abomination? Why am I doing this to my... I'm, I've already proven the... I'm, what am I doing? So I think we've gathered pretty much all the data we need from the tier three zone. There's one last thing to test, and it, it's the red worm fight. And if we can draw a conclusion from everything we've tested so far... I have a feeling this is probably going to be the single best warm weapon in the entire game, but there's only one way to find out. Storm caller. Oh, bro, do we? All right, I'll, I'll test storm caller. I feel like the whole point's mute, but all right, storm caller. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I don't even have a gas mask. Not only am I fighting storm caller with probably the weakest weapon in the game. Don't have decoys. Don't have a gas mask. Don't have a self res. It doesn't get worse than this. Dude, I'm not even making a dent. I'm not even making a dent, bro. I mean, his health bar is going down. Well, we pretty much used every bullet that I had. We used an entire, an entire stockpile worth of ammo on it, and he is 15% health. Yeah, but you want to help me take this out because I'm I'm pretty much out of ammo, and he is, um, <laughs> he's still very much alive. Nope, nope, you're gonna leave. Okay, well, I, I think I'm gonna follow your lead, and I'm I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm not. No. So clearly a tier three bounty is out of question. That's not going to happen. What about a tier two bounty? Have you ever seen a maxed out weapon that struggles with a tier two bounty? Whew. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Mangler. Pretty much the easiest tier two bounty, right? There's no way a maxed out weapon could struggle against this. Oh, no, no. We're, we're testing this as good as it comes. So this is a fully maxed out weapon. Tier three pack legendary with mags of holding. This is a tier two bounty.
And he glitched. Yeah, th doable, but most of the time when you max out a weapon and then take it in the tier two zone, it just insta kills everything. That was a lot of bullets. And he got glitched on top of that. If we didn't have mags of holding, we would have had to reload like three separate times there. You know, surprisingly, this weapon's actually pretty decent at range if you have mags of holding on it. Boom, 600 kills with Spinal Hawk. So this is a bad time to tell you my game just crashed. <sighs> we might have a Stormcaller during the worm. Let's go, Stormcaller versus the worm fight. I mean, Craig, what? You're, you're saying you don't think this weapon's good enough for the worm, let alone the worm and Stormcaller? A little double piece? Let's go! I killed Stormcaller instantly. Collect your wards. Let's go. Hey, the, the easy, wait, what? Um. Huh? Greylon, hello. He just, he's not. There's no way we just wait for this. What? Did he die to Stormcaller too? They killed each other. I think I think they did. I think that the worm spawned in on Stormcaller and then Stormcaller died. He's got a health bar though. That's what I'm confused about. So, I mean, all right. I, I'm not fighting the worm for a third time. I'll be honest with you guys. We've already been up for like an hour and a half, two hours just trying to fight the stupid worm. And I'm, I'm not. You can see the amount of health we did in the time we did. It would have been a mediocre weapon. It does look like it's kind of doable with the damage we did, but um, yeah. I, I don't even know what to say about this unique scenario. He spawned in on Stormcaller and they legitimately took each other out. I think we need to do something real quick. I know we could just exfil, but I think I need you to meet me over here before we exfil. Fill up your gas mask. There's one, there's a ritual we have to perform. There's just one thing I got to do before we end off this video. Dread to ask. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's get out of here. <laughs> so long story short, this aftermarket part is fun to use if, if you want a challenge. Like that's really what it's for. It's for a challenge. I don't want to say it's useless. There's really no reason to use it. It is, there's nothing it does good. I mean, it, it's it's one of the worst weapons in the game, but not every weapon, like I said, can be the best weapon in the game. That's what makes good weapons fun to use is because sometimes there's bad weapons. And if you're looking for a challenge, unlock it, use it. I had a blast using it, uh, but don't expect an insane weapon. Like don't expect a good weapon. The whole point of the weapon is gonna be to use it as for a challenge. It, it is, it's garbage. It's a garbage weapon, but that doesn't mean that it's worthless. If you want the class set up, it's in that trash can. But in all seriousness, this is the class setup I was using in the video. If for some reason you do want to use it for yourself, if you want to see more Pack-a-Punch testing videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock the sub button. Have a great rest of the day. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these camels.